All right, so at this point, we're now going to an example one, and we're going to go ahead and start evaluating functions. And these are functions that you should remember how to do, things you should remember how to do already. Um, I know Mr. D did a lot of these with you. I don't know if Ms. Jones did or Mr. Gottschall or Ms. Um, Orban, but you guys have done this before. So this should be like a brand, not brand new, so it's something that you've seen before. So with this, the first thing is going to evaluate this function here. The function is f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 5. And we're going to evaluate that at f of 2. So first off, we know, okay, we're going to find f of 2 for this problem. We have to figure out, what does that mean? What does, mean, what does it mean to find f of 2? So if we go back to our whole thing with domain and range, we said domain is what you put into the problem, range is the answer. So if we look at it, we're putting 2 into the problem, we have to think about where is 2 going? What does that mean? What's going on with that? So what we have to realize is x right here is going to equal 2. And if you look at that really easily, this is f of x right here. The f is the f, the f, the f there. The x is 2. So let's draw this little arrow right here again. So that means x equals 2 for this problem. So that means for, for this problem only, Whenever we see an x, we will substitute in a 2. Okay, so that's not hard. So whenever we see an x, we will substitute in 2. And let's see if this actually translates over. No, never mind. Well, let's try that. Let's see if this translates over to a word so we can actually do that part. Oh, no. Come on. Let's see where group it up first. Oops, sorry about that. So that's better to see now. So you can see it better. So whenever we see an x, we will substitute in a 2. So for this problem here, we're using this one here. So we're going to substitute in a 2 in for that x. Let's do parentheses around that. For this next x, we put a 2 there. And plus 5. So again, whenever we see an x, we put a 2 in that spot. So here, 2 squared is 4, and then 3 times 2, we know, is 6, then plus 5. And so then if we add all that up, we get that the answer is 11. Not, sorry, 15. Gotcha on that one if you said 11. <laughs> gotcha. All right, so with that, you should have got 15, and you can do all the work. Now, the biggest thing is you must have this last part. You must have f of 2 equals 15. If you don't have f of 2 equals 15, that means you're going to be wrong. I'm going to count that completely wrong because it's not just 15 as the answer. The whole function notation should be f of 2 equals 15. So give it the full respect that it's supposed to have and give it the whole thing. So f of 2 equals 15. All right. The next part, which is the last part, is we're going to label the domain and range of this function. Right. This is what we just did. So we're going to do a letter D for domain. We're going to do a letter R for range. Now we said that domain is what you put into the problem. So what do we put into the problem? We put in 2. And you put in 2 for what letter? Put in for x. So for our domain, we're going to say it's x equals 2. That's what we put in for the x value, x equals 2. All right, so then our range is, and let's put this here also because that way we can keep our um, terminology in place. This is our, what we put in, input. Or what we put in. Which 
right? And then range is what we get out as your answer, as we said. So in other words, we learned this is our answer. So what is our answer for this problem? And make sure you save the whole thing. So our range is the answer, which is f of 2 equals 15. So, ooh, yeah, not hard. It's easy, simple. You can fly through that, get that, know how to do all that easily. Just make sure you label your domain and range. Domain is what you put in. Range is what you get out. The output. Output. Okay, so no question on that. That's pretty easy, simple, not hard. All right, so let's go. We're going to go to now part B of this example.